So coming to this uh, discussion, right? Asynchronous and synchronous. It's very interesting. If you look at the example here, so if you look at the application example for asynchronous means data transfer from keyboard to CPU is a very good example for asynchronous. Protocols used are, as Rear said, it is UART and uh, PS2 or USB and uh, copying the video from the memory card to the mobile phone. So from this example, what we need to understand is memory cards in our mobile phone is communicating with the mobile phone through SPA protocol, which is a good example for synchronous serial communication. If you see the second example, second point, asynchronous means random data transfer. So I am typing the letter A in my keyboard. So one serial byte has gone from the keyboard to the CPU. Nobody knows when I'm going to type the next key. Even uh, I can type the next key after five seconds. I can try to type the next key after 10 seconds. I can type the next key after two hours or the next day I can type. So the time interval between first byte and second byte is unpredictable. But if it is periodic data transfer means, when it is synchronous means, so start bit followed by the data bits, something like this. There is something like a, that's why copying a video from the memory card to the mobile or mobile to the memory card. So video means what? It is in terms of MB, megabytes. So let us say one megabyte means start bit followed by all the sequence, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, when it is one megabyte, then only it will get closed. So in between, nobody can disturb. It is something like good strain. So now you are very much clear about it. So synchronous means a periodic and a large amount of data. Asynchronous means very few amount of data used for application which use less amount of data transfer. Keyboard uses very less amount of data transfer. Hence, for keyboard, we use a synchronous type of communication. So for uh, memory card and mobile, we use very large amount of high speed data transfer. The fourth point is very, very important. Mostly, the synchronous serial communication uses clock pulse for synchronizing. So clock pulse for synchronizing means at the falling edge of the first clock pulse, I'm going to send the first data bit. At the falling edge of the second clock pulse, I'm going to send the second data bit. At the falling edge of the third clock pulse, I'm going to send the third data bit. Something like that. The transmitter will notify the receiver through a separate clock pulse. Hence, it is clock based synchronization in synchronous serial communication, which is very important. So synchronous serial communication is synchronized through clock pulses. Which is, so the notification for the data is the falling edge of the clock pulse or rising edge of the clock pulse. So both the transmitter and receivers are connected through the separate clock pulses for a synchronous serial communication. Separate pin for clock, separate pin for data. But in asynchronous serial communication, the synchronization before starting communication, checking the capabilities and fixing the uh, data rate is called as baud rate. Why baud rate is necessary? Because it is communication between two boards, something like a mobile phone board and the PC board. So this board is having some other processor, it works with some other speed. That board is having some other processor with some other speed. The speed variation need to be adjusted. So to adjust the speed variation, so we can go for baud rate based communication as we discussed in this example. They can uh, synchronize through baud rate. Within the board, that means within the motherboard, if one IC is talking with another IC means, so the two ICs can be synchronized through the clock pulse. Why? Because clock pulse cannot travel for long distance. If the clock pulse travels for long distance means clock pulse cannot preserve the edge. If the edge is not predictable by the receiver means then it is very difficult for us to communicate and through clock there may be a lot of uh, possibilities of errors. So in a very simple word if you want to say synchronous serial communication is suitable for onboard serial communication. If you want to communicate between two boards clock pulse cannot travel for long distance hence uh, baud rate based synchronization is being used. Something like that, initially fixing the uh, data rate and then start communicating is something like uh, baud rate based synchronization and clock pulse based synchronization is used for synchronous serial communication. So then let's look at the fifth uh, example, used for long distance communication. That means communication happens between two boards. In short, you can say off board serial communication. And for synchronous, you can say use it for short distance communication within board, you can say on board. So communication between boards and communication between ICs within boards. And the need for standard connector. This is very important when it is asynchronous means there is a need for a connector. And if we have a second connector, this is VGA, video graphics error port, where 15 pins in three rows. So Ethernet is asynchronous serial communication protocol. USB is an asynchronous serial communication protocol. 
uh, VGA is a asynchronous serial communication protocol. RS232 is an asynchronous serial communication protocol. So which are all asynchronous. So they have a standard connectors. Why? Because they communicate between two boards. So there must be a connector and there must be a cable and the through cable, the connectors are interconnected and two boards are interconnected. But if it is a synchronous means, so this is the PCB. This is the PCB layout. So where here you can see, look at my cursor, look at the screen. Here you can see this one IC. And let us say this is another IC. So this IC you need to talk with this IC means. So we need to put a PCB track on it. So through PCB track, the communication can happen. So there is no need for any standard connector for a protocol which uses synchronous serial communication. So good example is I square C. I square C protocol is a good example and SPA protocol is a good example for synchronous. Now we are thorough about the word asynchronous, asynchronous and synchronous. I hope you have understood much better now from the table, which is very interesting.